What's good y'all welcome back to another reaction on this channel now in today's video We have one of Jay-Z's closest friends coming out and exposing him and Beyonce for practicing satanic rituals Okay, now this is not the first person and I promise you it will not be the last we've had ex bodyguards We've had backup dancers and singers coming out and exposing Jay-Z and Beyonce for practicing satanic rituals now before we get into this video, I did come across this one video of Beyonce performing at a concert, a very interesting and ritualistic, seeming to be like a hypnotic type of mind control on her fans during the concert, bruh. Very interesting. We're about to hop into this video, and then we're going to continue over to Larry Johnson exposing Jay-Z and Beyonce. Make sure you guys do leave a like down below and subscribe. Let's have this video go crazy in the algorithm. But let's check this video out, bro. Beyonce performing mind control at her most recent concert? First of all, everyone was staring into the spiral circle for over a minute, and then words started flashing like whoever controls the media controls the mind. Shortly after, it flashes mind control with Beyonce in the middle of the circle. And if you watch my video on sound frequencies, you know that the brain can tell your body how to feel with different frequencies. It makes me think, how are people feeling during this concert? And randomly in the middle of the visual, we see that's someone crazy, in a bro. weird position. I'm not sure what that's all about the next thing that pops up in the circle is that little captcha that says i'm not a robot and then right behind that is a flag made out of pills everyone knows the red and blue pill but my question to all of you is what's the point of all of this these concerts nowadays are just getting wild beyonce perform and just look at the way that she dresses i want you guys to be aware of the way that J beyonce dresses is always seemingly in like a ritualistic costumes even in her beyond in her dubai performance she always has some Egyptian looking horn devil wearing like some weird shit going on. Always, bro. This is not new, okay? But we're about to hop into this video and expose the level of witchcraft and satanic rituals that they actually practice behind closed doors. Well, it's obviously they've been controlled by Satanism. I mean, I'm not really scared to say that. Okay, y'all know that Larry Johnson isn't the only person who has exposed Jay-Z and Beyonce's right. satanic rituals, right? But why would Larry specifically expose Jay-Z and Beyonce? Is it because he just truly believes that they are satanic? Could it be because Jay cut him off because of his horrible behavior? Or, and this is a big or, is his motivation an alleged breakup after a romantic relationship with Jay-Z? So Larry <laughs> and Jay-Z used to be very close friends no back in the day. And the these two did everything together, from partying to business, and at some point, they even lived together. Well, that was until Larry hit rock bottom and Jay cut him off. Rock bottom is almost losing custody of your daughter, not coming home at night, don't know where you are. I was kind of let life drag me along and hopefully somebody would put me out of my misery. In a heartbreaking That's Washington crazy. Post feature, which touches on the mental breakdown Larry experienced as a result of his lengthy football career, there's a small bit about how Jay-Z cut him off via email. In addition, the article notes that just like many other footballers, Larry believes he suffers from brain degenerating CTE. And he knew that when he began feeling symptoms such as rage and depression. Like headaches every now and again, and my anxiety levels is off the chart. Sometimes I can't be in places certain long, so I have to retreat back to my own place because the anxiety makes my heart beat faster. During his interview with the That's Washington crazy. Post, Larry also said that two full NFL seasons had disappeared from his memory, and even some of his most memorable plays had grown hazy. He also said that he suffered from mood swings and had even made a video with highlights and pictures of him for his daughter in the event that he doesn't live long enough to see her grow up. Well, before all of this, Larry was very close to Jay-Z. So if there's anyone who saw firsthand what Jay was doing, it was Larry. And honey, he has not been scared to spill exactly what was going on behind closed doors. According to him, Man, after he came back after about five or six years, he started digging about Jay and things started to make sense. He's apparently found out who Jay really is, why he says the things he says, and to whom he has an allegiance. We all know Luciferians, Freemasons, and all occult knowledge that, that was drugged up from Egypt have now surfaced itself in American society. According to Larry, before it was all about partying and popping bottles. But if you listen again to things, you will hear the truth. And the truth is that Jay-Z and Beyonce are very deep into Satanism. Obviously they're not serving the same most high God that I am. 
And that's what makes us enemies, that I stand for a completely different doctrine, a completely different nation, and a completely different truth than he does. I don't have any materialism attached to my spirit or soul anymore. Honestly, Jay hasn't done much to dispute the allegation made by his former friend Larry that he performs satanic rituals and he's part of the Illuminati. For instance, there's how he always flashes the triangle hand symbol, which has always been associated with the Illuminati and Satanism. Also, it doesn't help that Beyonce and her creative team use so much iconography in her performances and videos always, that it just bro. gives a basis for always. the Illuminati rumors. In addition, when their daughter Blue Ivy was born, there were tons of conspiracy theories claiming that she basically proved that Jay-Z and Beyonce were purely satanic. Like how a rearrangement of Blue Ivy spells Elup Yivi, and the claim that that was Latin for Lucifer's daughter. There were also claims that Blue is an acronym for Born Living Under Evil, while Ivy stands for Illuminati's Very Youngest. Yeah, I don't know anything about this kind of stuff, but the streets of the internet claim to know a lot about it, and it's just wild. The only time Jay sort of addressed the rumors was when he rapped in his song Heaven, conspiracy theorists screaming Illuminati. They can't believe this much skill is in the human body. That's a dope line. So it's not like Larry just woke up one day and started making all these allegations about his former friend. Well, some people say that if Satanism prevents you from roughing up women and jeopardizing your career, perhaps Larry needed it more than Jay-Z. Because if there's one person who's got so many demons to wrestle with, it has got to be Larry. In fact, he even admitted that Jay cut ties with him partially because he was always getting in trouble with authorities. For reference, he has been arrested at least six times, and several Damn. of the incidents involved Larry Johnson being a to women. There was an ex-girlfriend who told police he choked her into unconsciousness and left her in her underwear in a hotel hallway. Then there was another incident in Kansas City with a former girlfriend that turned physical, which led to charges of DV by strangulation. What? According to reports, the woman had injuries to her face and bruising on her neck while Larry suffered scratches to his face. And another one involved allegations by a 24-year-old woman that he spat a drink at her and threatened to take the life of her boyfriend in a October of 2008. In one of those instances that did not involve a woman, a Miami Beach police report said that Larry cut another man with a broken bottle at a club in the Delano Hotel. Wow. So I can totally see how he was bad for Jay-Z's image, which would make sense as to why he would want to cut ties with Larry. But here's the twist, and I found this very interesting. Apparently, all that talk of- I would want to cut ties with this dude as well, bro. What the hell? Bro, I do not have any type of friends or any type of negativity around me to that extent, ever. And I never will, ever. Jay cutting off Larry because of his aggression was just lies. If you ask some people, they will tell you that Jay and Larry broke up, like they were low key in a romantic relationship. Oh boy. In fact, a lot of people assume that Larry and Jay's relationship started to fracture around 2007 because Jay was mad at Larry for playing Fantasia's love interest in the When I See You video. Don't know if that had anything to do with him being jealous, but even Larry confirmed that Jay didn't like it when he featured in that music video. And let's be real here for a moment. Jay also has a bit of history being overly aggressive for absolutely no reason. I mean, this is the same guy that has been accused of sleeping with 15-year-old Foxy Brown and then blackballing her. Farsi Brown was Jay-Z when she was 15 and he was 27. The very same person that has been accused of either participating in or knowing exactly what happened to Aaliyah. Jay-Z knew about to what happened to Aaliyah. So about Jay-Z. And he was working with R. Kelly and they were making so many records together. You know, they made all those records together. They both Aaliyah. They shared so much in common. There have also been reports that he Crazy. has been controlling Beyonce to keep her in check. Probably nobody knows, but I say, it, man, yeah, Beyonce's on drugs. She's been on them for a long time, and you keep her that way. Y'all wish it what you wish it to stay on top. In addition, there have also been a bunch of other incidents, like how back in 1999, Jay-Z was hanging out in a club for Q-Tip's release party when he had an argument with producer Lance Un Rivera. Things escalated pretty quickly, and Jay-Z pulled out an eight-inch knife and stabbed the man. Oh. So you want to tell me that this same man had a problem with how Larry was behaving and cut him off because of that? 
For some, this breakup assumption was beginning to track. Also, could somebody please explain to me why two straight men who are millionaires with a 10 year age gap would choose to share a condo when they could afford their own places? Cause that is something else about their friendship that caused speculation. Of course, it's also possible that Larry just made up those allegations cause he had a fallout with Jay. Or probably Jay and Beyonce actually do practice satanic rituals. I don't know, but which scenario makes the most sense to you? Is Larry reaching? Are the Carters satanists? Do you even believe there was any The Carters are saying this, bro. Like there's no absolutely no doubt about it. There's absolutely no doubt about it, bro. But hey, it is what it is, man. Look, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you guys didn't enjoy, make sure you do leave a like down below and subscribe. Let me catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.